Now, we're going to start off this particular video with an overview of the different functions in a modular synthesizer and how these things work together, to some extent at least. So, in an analog modular synthesizer, as we have here, we have essentially three different types of modules. And each of those modules has a particular function or group of functions, although some modules can actually function as more than one type of module, depending on the module itself. But essentially, we have three different major types of modules, and those are generators, of which this is one here. And those are things that can make sound, and that can include oscillators like this. It can include white noise generators and other types of devices like that. In a modern synthesizer, for example, it could include sample playback modules and so forth. So generators are anything that generate the basic sound. And then from there, we have processors or modifiers. So on this system, for example, we have several different types of modifiers. Here are two that are pretty common. This over here is a voltage-controlled amplifier, which in this system is called the Quad Dynamics Manager. But essentially, this is a voltage-controlled amplifier that lets you adjust the level of the output that's coming from the various generators. Over here is a voltage-controlled filter, also known as a VCF. And by the way, a voltage-controlled amplifier is also sometimes referred to as a VCA. So this voltage-controlled filter, or VCF, is a filter that removes harmonics, removes content from the generator output that you have patched into it, whether that's an oscillator again, or white noise, or what have you. So a filter removes content, and that is the basis of what we call subtractive synthesis, which is what most analog synthesis is based on. There are several, actually many, different types of synthesis out there. Subtractive was really one of the very first, and in subtractive synthesis, you start out with relatively complex sounds, complex waveforms, whether they are from an oscillator or noise or recordings or anything like that. But you start out with relatively complex sound, and you subtract elements from that, whether it's levels or whether it's harmonics or overtones, which we'll talk about a little bit more later. But essentially, the removal of those harmonics is what gives us the basis of subtractive synthesis. So with subtractive, you start with complex sounds, and you make them less complex by removing components from the sound, or subtracting components from them with these various modules. There are other types of synthesis, like additive synthesis, where you start out with very simple content. Uh, usually additive is ordinarily done with sine waves, and you add those sine waves together in various waves, to make more complex sounds. And then there's FM synthesis, frequency modulation, where you take two different waveforms and use one to modulate the frequency of another. And in that case, what happens is that you get much more complex sounds from very simple sources. And we'll talk a little bit more about FM later as well. And from there, there are many other different types of synthesis. So phase distortion, granular synthesis, where you take small particles of sound and aggregate them together to make larger sounds, and that sort of thing. We'll be talking here primarily about subtractive synthesis. So, so far we've talked about generators and processors or modifiers, and the last type of module that we'll take a look at is the controller modules, which we'll do in our next video.